What's going on YouTube? GS right here. In today's video, we have a very quick video for those of you waiting for an iOS 11.4.1 and iOS 11.4 jailbreak. We have some great news coming from TimStar. So just a few hours ago, TimStar posted, quote, by the way, exploit is in the works, which can work up to iOS 11.4.1. Already got kernel read. Don't know if I can be bothered to find offsets for anything but iPhone 6.2, 11.2.6 though, or make the exploit work on the phones without the headphone jack. So yeah, he is apparently working on an exploit that will work for iOS 11.4.1 all the way up to iOS 11 apparently. But yeah, it's not ready yet, so please do not go and bother this guy in here with when ATA or when you're going to publish it and stuff like that. Leave the guy to actually work on what he's working. Anyways, do not update from iOS 11.4.1. Many people have lost their hope that iOS 11.4.1 may have a jailbreak in the future and may have updated to iOS 12.x or iOS 12.0.1 or iOS 12.0 or, you know, even stayed on iOS 11.3.1. Now, if you stayed on iOS 11.3.1 or iOS 11.4 beta 3, you are jailbroken and happy. But if you're running iOS 12 and newer, you may need to wait a bit more. So if you're running iOS 11.4 or 11.4.1, do not update regardless of how many vulnerabilities are available for the iOS 12. The entire iOS 12 range would be harder to jailbreak than the 11.4.1 and 11.4 of course due to core trust and other security mitigations in iOS 12. So staying on 11.4.1 or 11.4 if you're already there, it's always the best choice. Now if you remember, we also have the Project Zero Dejax New in here by Ian Beer, which has been posted back in the end of the October or something like that. And this one supports iOS 11.4.1 and iOS 11.4 as well. And it's actually a very good vulnerability. I think it's a sandbox escape, but it doesn't provide the kernel task port. So we cannot use only this one for a jailbreak. But anyways, as you can see, Timstar is working on something. He got kernel read for the moment, so no writes at this moment in time. But he's able to read arbitrary kernel data, which is actually nice, and he's still working on it. But what does he mean by work on phones without headphone jack? Well, this pretty much means the KTRR devices like the iPhone 7, 7 Plus, and of course, new devices. The uh, exploit he's working on is not currently working on that apparently and he may need to add support for those devices if he wants to release something that would work on them. For the moment however the uh, devices that do have the iPhone jack which means the KPP devices are apparently supported by this exploit in here. Now, as I said, Teamstar has been complaining a few days ago about the uh, ATA kit and about people who nag others who do free jailbreak releases. So please do not nag this person here. Let him do his work. Let him do his exploit. He was kind enough to tell us that he has something for 11.4.1, which would definitely be very helpful and it tells you pretty much to not update to iOS 12. There is nothing more annoying than to have a lot of people ask you every day when you're going to release that or when you're going to do that and stuff like that. So let him do his stuff. Anyways, yeah, this is pretty much it guys. Do not update from 11.4.1. There is a little bit of hope, so it's always better to stay on the lowest version possible. Because as I said, iOS 11.4.1 and iOS 11.4 do not have the core trust problem and we may be able to reuse patches from 11.3.1 and 11.3 and so on. So definitely a better version to stay on if you didn't update yet. If you updated, make sure that you do not update to 12.1.1, 12.1.2 or 12.1.3 when it comes out. And if you're already there, please do not update further. Anyways, thank you for watching guys. I'm Geosnow. Till the next time, peace out.